Hey everybody, I'm Ted from Tabex. In this tutorial, we are looking at how to link your Rust game server to your Discord server. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to install the Discord extension and we'll also set up Discord call admin, which also requires us to set up Discord core. And as you can see, Discord core requires us to set up Discord. So we'll first set up Discord, then Discord core, and then Discord call admin. This allows players with the correct permission to call a admin. This will automatically create a channel on side of the Discord and ping the admins. The admin can then talk to the player in game directly from Discord. Like I said, there are many different options. For example, Rustcord is also a free option and also works with a lot of different plugins. And this is a complete server monitoring system directly inside of Discord. There are also some paid options. This is just one example, Discord and Steam linking system. There are some examples. So if we look at one, you can see people have to log in with Steam, log in with Discord, and then both of those are linked allowing you, for example, to reward players in-game automatically when they Nitro boost your Discord server. In this video, I won't show you the linking system or the Rust course. If you do want us to cover any other Discord plugins, you can make that request down below in the comments. Let's start off by installing the Discord extension. You can see here for the installation, we have to put the DLL file inside of our managed folder. If you're hosting locally, that should be pretty easy to find. Inside of your main Rust server folder, there is Rust dedicated underscore data and inside of there is the managed folder. This is where you put the DLL. Since I'm using a hosting company, I don't have access directly to that folder, but under mod manager and extensions, I can still install the Discord DLL. It says it's now installed, follow the instructions, start the server to fully generate the Discord extension files. So let's start up our server and let it generate all those files. Looking at the console while it's booting up, you can see here, loaded extension Discord. And now we need to add a bot to our Discord server. For this, we need to go to the Discord developer documentation and you can find the link in the video description or of course on the UMod page for Discord. Once you are logged in, in the top right, we're going to say new application. I'm going to give it a name accept and then click on create on the left we're then going to go to bot so first of all i'm going to disable public bot i'm going to say presence intent i'm going to say server members intent and i'm also going to say message content intent and let's save those changes under url generator i'm going to say bot and then under bot permissions i'm going to say administrator where it says generated url we can then select copy and paste this in our new tab. It then asks me, what server do you want to add the server to? I selected Discord standalone. Click on continue, administrator, and click on authorize. I am human. And you can see here now on the right, the bot is inside of my Discord server. Let's now configure Discord core. This will create a secure link between your in-game player and the Discord server. And this link can be used by any Discord link compatible plugin like call admin that we're setting up in this tutorial. So this is just a plugin file. So we need something like UMod or Carbon to run this plugin. I currently have UMod installed and I already downloaded the CS file. So I just dragged Discord core inside of my plugins folder, go into Oxide, configurations, and then let's open up Discord core. First thing it asks us is our bot token. This is the bot we just created. We haven't generated a token yet. So let's click on reset token. And let's say yes, do it. We need to fill in our two-factor authentication. And after doing this, you can see it gives us our token. We can copy this token and then paste that right there. Discord server ID. This is my Discord name. If I right click on it, I can do copy server ID. If it doesn't say copy server ID for you, go to your user settings. Then under advanced, make sure that developer mode is enabled. I'm going to paste that where it says server ID, Discord server name. So I'll just do TBX Rust. Let's go to our server. Let's invite people. And then let's say never expiring link. And then let's generate a new link. With that link copied, I'm going to paste it right here. I'm going to ignore the other settings for now. Let's save and exit. So we can see that the bot still is offline. So I'm going to say O.reload for Oxide Reload. And then Discord Core, capital D, capital C. And now you can see our bot is online. You can link either starting in game or starting in Discord. I will start in game. So let me connect to my server. Let's first of all do slash perms to give ourselves the permission. So I'm going to go to groups, then go to default, which is all players. 
And then for Discord core, I'm going to say use granted. And this allows players to use the slash DC chat command. So I'm going to say slash DC join code. It says to complete your activation, please use the following command slash DC code 614616. So I'm going to copy this. Oh, let's actually put a space there. So DC code 614616. If you do this, it says you must complete the link on Discord and not through the game server. Okay, so I see an issue. We will fix this later on. But it says we need to be inside of the Discord, which I already am. Unfortunately, I'm also not able to really click on the link. This command can only be used in a direct message to the guild bot. And it says the name Rust Server TPX. So I already have the code copied. I'm already inside of the Discord. I'm going to right click the bot and say message. Now I can paste that command and it will tell me you have successfully linked your Discord it is now linked. Uh, it also calls me God. I think this is because I have God mode on. I, I didn't call myself God. If I do slash God, yeah, disabled God mode. So now it's it's not in my name anymore. I didn't call myself God. There are some other options that I'm going to skip for now. Let's move on to the call admin. So let's download this. Let's go inside of Oxide plugins and let's also drag the file in here. Discord call admin. There you go. And let's see if it has any errors. Discord call admin, please set the Discord bot token. Okay, so same thing. Let's go inside of the configuration, config files, and then Discord call admin. Let's see what we need to do. So we need to set a category ID. Inside of Discord, let's make a new category. I'm going to call it help Rust server. I'm going to say private category. I'm going to say only the owner. And I'm also going to make sure that the bot can see this as well. Create category. And then I'm going to right click it and say copy channel ID. So with this channel ID copied, let's paste it in here. This will tell it what category it wants us to create those chat channels. Steam profile icon, I don't really care to be honest. I'll just keep my own, I guess. Show admin username false discord bot token. I think that is more interesting. So still here, I'm going to again, copy the token from the same bot. So under discord token, I'm going to say here, Discord server ID, I'm just right clicking this and say copy server ID, paste that in here. Uh, Discord extension log level, let's just keep it on info for now. You can turn it off or change this and see what kind of messaging you prefer. I think you just put in a Steam ID, so let's let's just put in my Steam ID and see what, what happens. I'm just going to paste in the full link, maybe just the number, I have no clue. So I'm just going to put in the full link and we'll see if we get any errors. Let's, I think that's all we need to fill in. Reply command R, that's fine. Let's do save and exit. And then let's reload Discord call admin. If we do slash perms and we go to default, let's grant the permission to use Discord call admin. Slash call admin. Hello? Admin has been notified. They'll get in touch with you as fast as possible. On the Discord side of things, you can see I have a notification. There is a channel created automatically. It pings me. It says you are now talking to Ted Pommes. Uh, hello? You can see here. Hello? So I'm just going to say slash R and say hi. Seems to be working. It says your message has been sent to the admins. So my message appears here. Everything seems to be working fine. So there are two things I want to try. First of all, let's try to get this icon working. Let's remove this and just use only our Steam ID. Show admin username. Uh, no, let's keep it on false. Let's save it and let's reload the plugin. You can see it shows the icon in the left. So we don't use the full link. We just use the Steam ID. And then lastly, I also messed up the invite link and then Discord join code is just the code. And let's save and also reload that plugin. So let's do DC leave to unlink ourselves. DC join code. Now the link looks a lot better. Hopefully this shows you the basics of how to link your Rust server to your Discord server. Like I said, there are many different options. If you would like us to cover anything, feel free to leave a comment down below. The same goes for if anything is unclear or of course, try to contact our support. As always, thank you for watching and good luck with your Tabex store.